On this episode of Project Carpalooza, we finally answer the question, which motor goes in it? Get it? K-Series? <laughs> <laughs> We've removed all the brackets so we can try the motors back in the car. One of these will hold on with a series of spot welds. To get those off, we use these tools. We start off with a center punch, pop a little hole in the center of the spot weld. Next, we take this pilot drill and we put a little drill in there, center it, and last, Instead of using a spot weld removal bit, we use this pilot point drill bit. They're a lot cheaper. Plus, because they're so long, they're easy to reach in there around the brackets and get it in. We use this to drill out the spot weld. Once we do that, usually the bracket will come right off. Sometimes we have to use a hammer, but it's all pretty easy to do. Okay, we got our brackets out of the car. It's a little bit opened up. We're gonna take the sway bar slash radius rods out real quick and we're gonna put the K-series back in. Remember, we weren't able to do it last time because there was a bracket that was in the way right here. But we've got it out. The engine bay is about as open as it's gonna get without making big cuts. So we're gonna give it a try here and see how the K-series fits. I remember asking you before, like this is how you figure out what engines work with what. You just yeah. literally just drop a motor over exactly. or drop a car. I mean, the procedure here is pretty much the same way we use it at Hasport for any of the motors we try in cars. Essentially, we put the motor flat on a cart and then slowly drop the car over top of the motor and see how everything lines up. Now, let's stop right there. We're actually lining up with some uh, interference. Right down here, there's a, I don't know, a dirt shield or something that's over on the side of this frame rail. But legitimately, this engine is too wide for the, for the car. The engine bay is probably about 32 inches wide. This engine is probably about 35 inches wide. So we've got a pretty good overlap each way. It's compact enough front to rear, but without taking the frame rails and cutting them out and widening the car quite a bit, there's just no way this is going to fit. The second motor we've got is we have a, a D-series motor, uh, like a VX motor. It's the same size as all the single cam motors that came in the 92-5 Civic, the 96-up Civic. That engine's a little bit narrower, plus it uses the same mounts as a B-series motor. So if we can get that motor to fit in, with those mounts, that means a B-series will also fit in this car. So let's try that motor next. Back up. Yep, back up. All right, so this is about where the engine would sit. We've got the bottom of the oil pan level with the lower control arms. Uh, right now, the alternator is just about ready to hit the uh, master cylinder. It's tight in here, but it fits. So let's check out the mounts. We'll start off with the transmission mount here. Well, obviously it's not going to fit. <laughs> the uh, We can't raise the motor this much. Uh, it would be too high, actually. Uh, I could build a spacer to space it up there, and that way we could get it in without uh, a whole lot of uh, chopping on the car, but I don't really like that option of putting... Uh, four inch block in there of some sort. Uh, let's take a look at the other side. Kind of the same story over here. Uh, we need about a three or four inch block in order to get it up above the frame rail. We could make all custom mounts for it. That's certainly an option, but I don't think I want to do that. I think, I think I'd like to try the D16 from the 87 Integra back in and let's see how that fits. Okay, the last motor is the D16A1. This is out of an 86-7 Integra. There's also a black valve cover 
version of this. It comes in 88, 89 Integra. That one would actually be a little bit easier to convert to OBD1, which I think is what we're going to do is use OBD1 electronics on this. Let's see how it fits. Slow down. Okay, go down a little bit more. Down. Oh, we're on it. Oh, we're on it. All right, stop right there. That's fine. Okay, again, we're at approximately the same level we were with the last motor. Uh, we actually could go down a little bit further. There's uh, an accessory belt that's pinned underneath the frame rail. It's for uh, power steering. Obviously, we're not going to have power steering on this. Uh, there's also another accessory belt on here. That's for AC. That's another thing we're not going to have. So we can cut those two off. That means we can shift the motor over another probably half inch or inch, probably about an inch. Uh, we've got still some fairly good room between the alternator and the master cylinder. And that allows to tuck the motor in another inch. I think this is going to be our motor. I'm pretty certain that we're going to go ahead and uh, I've got a couple of 88 Integra blocks that need rebuilding. So I think I'm going to put one of those together. That's going to be our motor for this car. It looks like the mounts are going to be fairly easy too. The way the mounts work on this car, there's a block bracket that bolts onto the front. And that's going to allow us to mount our mount up here above the frame rail. There's no, uh, there's no fender well in the way if we do that. Plus, I'll probably make a custom billet version of this so we can use our billet mount for the 84 to 7 with the B series over on this side. That should be fairly easy to do, fairly quick to, to mock up and make up. On this other side over here, the front mount actually bolts to the transmission. We'll make something similar to the stock mount that comes down here. This is an under frame rail mount we make for 82, or excuse me, 92 Civics. We'll get it to mount under here and we'll make a bracket that comes forward and mounts right to that. And that'll be our transmission side mount. For the rear of the motor, there's a couple of bolt holes on the transmission back there. I'm actually thinking about making a subframe for this car. We'll have to figure out what our exhaust clearance is and everything on this. If we can uh, get good exhaust clearance, maybe we'll fab up a subframe that uh, will help strengthen the suspension a little bit. At the same time, we can put a mount on it. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. I crack myself up. <laughs> <laughs>